In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to find your Microsoft Word product key in just about five minutes. This seemingly daunting task can actually be quite straightforward if you know exactly where to look, and that's precisely what we're going to dive into today. First things first, let's begin with the initial step you need to take, which involves going to the very beginning point of interaction with your Windows, the Start menu. Click on the Windows Start menu, which is usually located at the bottom left corner of your screen. It's identifiable by the Windows logo, so you can't miss it. Once you've found and clicked on the Start menu, we'll move on to the next crucial step. After opening the Start menu, you'll see a search bar at the bottom. This is where you need to type Word. It sounds simple, but the key here is to avoid any specific versions of Word when you type it in. Just keep it general. As you type, suggestions will start appearing above the search bar. This little search area is more powerful than it might seem at first glance. Now from the search results, click on Microsoft Word. It usually appears at the top of the search results if it's installed on your computer. This action will open Microsoft Word on your computer and this is where things start getting more interesting. With Microsoft Word now open, you'll want to go to the Word home screen. If you're not immediately taken there upon opening Word, don't worry. Just look for options like File, Home, or similar terms on the upper part of the window to navigate your way back to the home screen if necessary. The Word home screen is your gateway to the deeper settings of Microsoft Word, including the account information. Once you're on the Word home screen, the next step is to click on account. This should be visible on the left hand side of the screen or under one of the menus at the top depending on your version of Word. The account section is where Microsoft Word gives you a summary of your subscription status and product information. In the account section you'll find your product key. This section gives you an overview of your Microsoft Word subscription or product including the product key associated um, with your copy of Word. The product key is important for various reasons. It's proof of your purchase and is needed if you ever have to reinstall Word or prove your software license. It's important to handle this information carefully. The product key is essentially a passport for accessing and using Microsoft Word and it should be kept secure. You might not need it immediately but it's good practice to know where it is in case you need it in the future for troubleshooting or reinstallation purposes. Here are a few additional tips to help you along the way. Remember that the visibility of the product key might vary depending on how you acquired Microsoft Word. If it was pre-installed on your device through a digital purchase or as part of an Office 365 subscription, the way the key is presented or whether it's shown at all can differ. If you're having trouble finding your product key this way, it might be because your version of Word or Office is tied to your Microsoft account and doesn't require a traditional product key. Keep this key somewhere safe but accessible. You might decide to write it down, store it in a secure digital note or keep it in a password manager. The key is ensuring you can find it easily whenever you might need it without it being accessible to unauthorized users. And there you have it, a straightforward step-by-step -step guide on how to locate your Microsoft Word product key right within the application itself. This simple process saves you from sifting through emails, confirmation messages, or packaging that you might have for your Microsoft Office or Word purchase. It's all right there within the program, making it quick and painless to find when you need it. That wraps up our tutorial for today. I hope this video has been helpful and has demystified the process of finding your Microsoft Word product key. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and be sure to check back for more useful guides and tips.